everyone, it's Miss Shear, and welcome to my channel. Uh, thank you for stopping by today. Um, I appreciate um, I appreciate it, especially all my returning people. Um, today I'm going to be doing week 11 in the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge. Um, and this is a challenge, if you've been following me along, uh, you'll already uh, know how it works. Um, but it is a challenge that Marguerite Miller has set 52 weeks of prompts um, and we just um, work at uh, making a collage, getting an inspiration. Uh, so the, uh, and I'm using a book I got at the thrift store. Um, the prompts for this week, an object that makes a familiar sound, uh, something found in space, an art scrap, uh, something soft, a set of uh, three of something, and bonus is tissue paper or a napkin. Um, so I am going to be swapping out the something found in space uh, with the tissue paper or napkin. So I'm just going to start with my art scrap. I went um, through just a bunch of scraps that, that I had just from stamping and stuff, and I found this one which I kind of liked. So. I thought that I could make uh, this work, um, so I'm just going to cut it, I think I'll just cut it off there. Okay, and I'm just going to get that down, oops, seems to be making a lot of noise today, with some uh, art runner or some, some tape. Okay. And I'm just going to get that down. Think about it like that. Okay. Um, so then the next uh, part uh, is I'm going to use a napkin. So I've taken a napkin that I, I don't even know where I got it. Um, and I've taken the backings off. So generally in most napkins, there's um, a two layers of just white backing before you get down to um, the actual printed side. Um, so I'm going to use that part. I'm just moving that out of the way for a second because I'm going to use my water mark, uh, my water pen to just take off um, to instead of cutting this because I don't, oops, it's way too much water because um, I want it to kind of fade into the collage and I'm just going to and I don't want this happy birthday so although I, I'll probably cover that I would have covered this bit up with a with another image but okay and then once I've got that down that done I'll place it on my page and see and see what what, what else how I want to modify it further. So for this one here, I want to put it kind of like that, I guess. A bit like that. Yeah, I think that I think that will work. And then here I'm not worried too much about cutting into the image that I'd like to save, so I'm fine with that. All right, so get out of that out of the way. So then uh, where this is paper, you know, I really don't like adding a lot of liquid, um, but I am going to use some of the satin glazing liquid. Uh, I find that that does um, help to well, the page might still warp, but we're going to give it a go. Um, and I'm going to just try to put as little as possible. So I'm just going to get a little tray that I have here on my desk. And get this back in frame. I have a very small desk, so um, whenever I do a major art project, I've got stuff flying all over the place. Okay, so I basically want to put a little bit there. I don't care if that runs. 
and then we'll get that down there and that might be enough I just want to kind of cover the words I haven't really thought like um, done this in advance like some sometimes I kind of have an idea of where things are gonna go but this one I'm flying by the seat of my pants on this one okay we can start we can leave that there for now um, okay so that's the napkin um, and I, it's really subtle it allows some of the words to come through um, so I really like that uh, so something with a familiar sound I actually have two things because this spread is going to be an ode to spring um, before I go any further though, I think I might dry this page and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've dried that up. Um, and uh, I, th I think that'll work. Okay, so something with a familiar sound. I've got two things um, because as I was saying, um, this theme of this is an ode to spring. So it is, it's right now it's March 1st. Um, I'm doing this a uh, couple weeks in advance. Uh, this will come out on the 10th, I believe. Uh, so, um, but I'm working for the next, I'm off today and then I work the next six days. So I just wanted to, to get it done um, while I had um, time. But um, if you've been listening or watching my channel, you know that we had some major snow here in Halifax um, and there were snow drifts and banks in my garden that were, you know, up to my armpits, basically. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't even get anywhere near my shed or, or um, into the garden. And in the last few days, we've had a lot of mild uh, weather. And last night, um, last 24 hours, we had a really rainy, windy. Um, so now I'm looking out my window and there's hardly any snow at all to be seen. Um, and that just gave me this kind of, um, I don't know, this uplifting, um, you know, spring feel. So that's where I, I'm kind of going with this. And, and what's, you know, what's more telling about spring than um, some, some baby ducks uh, and, you know, a little goat. Um, so I guess, although really I'm using this one for something soft because they are just so soft and fluffy. So I'm using that for my soft one and the goat for my familiar sound. So I'm just not really sure where I wanna put them because I wanna be able to show my artwork. I'm wondering if I make like just um, a skinny, because the other thing that I wanna put here, which is my set of three, um, is uh, some roses that I thought would really set the page off. Uh, the other set of three that I have are these sheep. <laughs> well, there's, they're of the sheep fa family. There's two, two lambs and a mama. So I kind of thought that they would work in, in the spread. So I'm just really not sure how this is gonna work. Because like I said, I wanna show my napkin. And I guess, first of all, I need to cut these down to size. So let's just cut these a bit. Frame them a little bit better, smaller. I'm using a bigger book than I used last year. Um, so, uh, so I'm really loving this, the size of this. Um, so I'm wondering if we put that there and then I need my smaller scissors so that we could fussy cut. Oh, and the other challenge that I set myself uh, for this this week's collage is I wanted to use one magazine. So I was sitting um, the other evening watching some television and I p picked up the magazine that I had just bought. I typically don't buy a lot of magazines. Um, unless, you know, I see them at the thrift store for like a dollar or something. I just find I really love the magazines, but, um, you know, they, they can be quite expensive. 
I do have a, 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 year, a monthly subscription to National Geographic um, and to Daphne's Diary. Um, but other than that, I just here and there will pick up a magazine. And um, the other day I was out shopping and I kind of thought, I'd like to get a magazine. So I picked up Victoria because um, I, I love the images and it just, you know, was a, was a spring hit. And so I said to myself, I want to use one magazine to do my whole collage. So that's the challenge. Um, so the article that these roses came was like a wedding, a bridal, something bridal, but, um, but I, I just, I love those roses. So kind of thought we'd put those in the collage and then there's my ducks. Got to get all my ducks in a row. Still kind of thinking I like, I, I'd like to cut that down. I'm going to get my trimmer out. I have to cut this like this. It might be a mistake, but this is what I'm envisioning in my mind. And sometimes my mind sees something different than reality. Okay, so if I kind of have that in there, and I have my little goats there, my little sheep kind of there, I'd like to cut a little bit of the top of this. We don't need this much white space there. Um, clocks go ahead. Uh, they would have went ahead last last night, spring ahead. So we have daylight savings time here. Um, I don't really think, I don't know if I think we should do it or not. I kind of think sometimes that we shouldn't. We should just leave it. Um, but you know, I could be wrong on that score. Okay, so I kind of like that. And then we could put the roses in there and then leave. Although I don't need to keep all of that. I could change that up a bit and put, and kind of put that. No, because I, I like. I like that, like that. Maybe move it over a little bit. Could put those up there. Because the other thing, although it looks too, no. I kind of, I'm liking this. And then I think I'll go, I might put a, a little washy, move this over a little bit more. Faster snoring in the background. I kind of like like that. All right, so I'm going to tack some of this down. So the thing that's on the bottom is this. Um, I often like to leave a place for my prompt, so I might do it behind on that one. <clears throat> okay, it's a gorgeous sunny day. This morning I got up though and it was very cold. It was like minus 17. Celsius, which is pretty, pretty frosty. Although I don't mind when it's really cold at times because then it's too cold to snow. And I don't mind the, the darker days. Um, I have not lots of little cute little uh, fairy lights that I turn on when it's darker out or if it's dreary. Um, so I don't mind the, the shorter daylight hours of winter. Don't I don't really mind the cold so much. I hate that it costs so much more for winter here in Nova Scotia. So by the time you pay for your heating and any kind of snow removal, um, I was talking and, oops. I just, I like to stick my prompt in the page. It's okay. I might make a spot on the next week's for two. Okay. And I like that. And then, um, so then I like to do some embellishing and, um, let's see, I've got 
these bunch of books from Michael's that I've been collecting over the last couple of years. Um, and maybe we could just find some, uh, or I could just go to the strips of paper. I kind of like this. This would go. This is just like a little banner. We can celebrate our little, our little goat guy. And then what about, hooray, let's party. I don't think we, I want to put something down here that these guys can be sitting on, or standing on. It's good um, sometimes to try and ground your images by having, even if it's um, not all cut out, if, even if it's just, uh, oh, kind of like that. Um, yeah, just, just a photo. It's, it's good to, it's good to ground them. But I want, that's going to go right down to the bottom of the page, but I'm okay with that. Because I could even cut, cut some of it off. Because what I want it to do is I want to put that one on, but then I want to layer it with this one just to draw some color uh, down the page. So hopefully that's somewhat straight. Okay, I, I like that. Um, all right, let's see what we can find. Spring has sprung. Um, we could get our word bloom here. We'll kind of stick that on our page. That's looking all right. And then there's always some kind of like washi strips um, in all of them. Because I was kind of thinking about something to go down the page there. The other kind of idea, there's some washi strips, but they are kind of short. The, the other idea that I have, so I should have been more prepared is I keep some of the branding strips and just um, just strips of paper um, just in a tote. So maybe we could just kind of put a, just kind of lay, layer some strips maybe. This one here has got a bit of the, this was a 12 by 12 paper pad and I, cut it off I left some of the actual pattern paper on the strip but I like that this one so maybe we'll put just a strip of that would this be an art strip I don't know but as part of the challenge you can um, embellish so this reminds me of I was going to use another napkin um, and that reminds me a lot of that but I don't think I'll use it. So if we put kind of that like that down the page, that might work a little bit, I'm not sure. I could put some washi, I love washi. I do like that color though. So it's been so nice that the weather has changed. I think what I'll do is I'll go away and I'll find a couple more embellishments so that you guys aren't bored to death and I'll be right okay, back. Okay, so I've got a couple ideas. So I did want to use this strip of paper um, because I thought it was, I just thought it was nice looking. It was jolly strip of paper. So I'm just going to put that kind of as a side border on there. And then I cut out this little from the mag went back to the magazine and I cut out this little flower arrangement, um, and I thought that that would be cute to just sit down here on the on the little border. I thought that that would be kind of springy. Turn it so it looks relatively straight. Okay, and then I made a couple just out of strips of paper which I might have just lost. 
I made um, a couple little banners for there. Gosh, I am truly disorganized today. Oh, here they are, right in front of my eyeballs. Um, so I just went to just some of my paper and uh, just cut a couple little banners to go up just at the top here, just to bring some color up to that, that corner there. Um, and then I went back again to the magazine. Move this over a little bit. To try to find an image to go kind of over in this side. And I found this one, which was another set of three. So one, two, three. Um, and I was, it goes this way. And I was kind of thinking of putting that in there, but I just really didn't like the overall, I just didn't like it. Um, so what I thought I might do is take these stickers and make a little cluster of another set of three and just kind of up in this corner here, just, just wing it. So, um, and they're all roses. So do just a little kind of clustery thing there. Uh, like so. Do I like that or do I want I like? I think I kind of like it like that. Yeah, because then it kind of goes around like that. So I like that. And then I just wanted to put a little bit of something, a little something something on there. And I had a couple things in mind which I've just lost. Um, this is the bird one. But I don't think there was really anything in the bird one. Because it's not about birds. It's about flowers and baby mammals. Baby animals. I had um, one of these that had some butterflies. There's some butterflies. What about that up there? That's a stamp. That would look cute. Oh, here's a cute little butterfly. What about that one? Oh, yeah, I think I'd like that just there. So we'll put that there. And I think that's come together. Maybe this wee little flower here, we could put it just down in this corner as a little accent. And I think that's it. So we definitely have got our objects, uh, familiar sound, which would be um, the little uh, goat, um, most, well, I, I used to have a little hobby farm and we had goats. Um, so that's a very familiar sound uh, to me. Uh, my art scrap is in the background there, something soft, our little fluffy geese um, or ducks and a set of three. So we have a couple sets of, of three. Um, and our tissue uh, paper. So thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you did like it, please give me a like and I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. I do have um, more in the playlist of Marguerite Miller. Um, so if you like this kind of style, then um, uh, be sure to check them out. And um, also a Daphne's Diary play playlist, um, which has some good uh, blue book journaling in that one. Um, so yeah, so I hope um, until we meet again that you stay safe, safe and healthy um, and bye for now.